Welcome to Blackest Widow Tarot. I'm your girl. I'm your host, Nadi. And this is the reading for, you already know, my Capricorns. So let's get straight into it because I already know y'all don't got all that to be playing with me. So let's do it. Yahweh, I come to you and pray that you open up my third eye for my Capricorns. Expose everything to me so that I can expose everything to them. Also, any energies or any entities that may be trying to harm me harm the collective, or even throw off this reading in general. I ask that you punch them right in their face on right back to hell where they belong. Ashe. Love and light, abundance and protection. Love and light, abundance and protection. Love and light, abundance and protection. All right, Capricorn, let's do it, do it, do it. Let's do it, do it, do it. Let's get some information. What does Capricorn need to know and be aware of? What does Capricorn need to know and be aware of? What does Capricorn need to know and be aware of? What does Capricorn need to know and be aware of? Y'all. What does Capricorn need to know and be aware of? What does Capricorn need to know and be aware of? I'm going to say something first before I even jump into what's going on. I'm, I was hearing that Capricorn, you don't got to lie about a bitch ass thing, okay? You can keep it 100% real and allow people to digest it, like it, and stay, or digest it, don't like it, and move the fuck on. You don't have to sugarcoat a bitch ass thing. You don't have to coddle a no damn body. The best way to be is brutally fucking honest, okay? And if people can't take it, get the fuck out the kitchen, okay? Okay, all right. Now, back to the message. You may have somebody in your life that's completely lying to you. Lying about who they dating, who they screwing. Lying about they only want to be with you. Lying about how, oh, they're a faithful person when they're not. This is somebody who's also lying about their finances as well. Not only are they lying just to be around you. Not only are they lying about the, their infidelity. They're also lying about how broke they are. Liar, liar, pants on fire is what is given. Give me a hidden truth. Give me a hidden truth about this liar. Give me the hidden truth about this liar. This disgusting, deceitful liar. Give me the hidden truth when it comes to this liar. Give me the hidden truth when it comes to this liar. Give me the hidden truth. Mm. This person wishes that things could be different. Because y'all really feel like if you're currently talking to this person, you're realizing who this person truly is. You're trying, you're starting to pick up on the, the red flags about this person. You're starting to piece together all the lies that they've been saying. And if you already cut this person off, you already pieced that shit together and you moved the fuck on. And now this person wishes that things could be different. And if you're with this person, they're wishing and they're hoping and praying that you don't figure them out enough to leave them the fuck alone. This person is honestly a user a liar, a manipulator, and you don't even know who the fuck you're laying next to if you're still laying next to this person. Mm, 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 mm. Now, if you've already left this person alone, this person's still holding on to your energy, still hoping that one day you all can repatch what is already torn the fuck up. This is somebody who knows that you left them alone for a reason, and it was the best reason, because they weren't shit. And if you're currently talking to this person still, they know that one day you're going to leave them because they know that they're no good for you. Just like this net flying around, they're getting on your motherfucking nerves. Or they already did and you cut them off. When you, If you did already cut this person off, it's because they crossed the line. They, they, you found out too much about this person. This person wasn't honest. This person wasn't faithful. This person was, didn't have their shit together. And if you're currently with this person, you're going to realize those things about this person and you're gonna pack your shit up you're gonna put your heart back into your chest and off your sleeve and you're gonna keep it the fuck moving okay mm -hmm. and for the ones who've already left this person alone this person is sitting around thinking about how they fumbled you how they mishandled you and why you no longer want to be with them this person if you no longer are with this person they're gonna try to come back to you they will because in their head and in their heart, they feel like you can't find nobody better when they're not even that great. 
This is somebody who got an ego bigger than they bigger than their ass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Give me some love messages for the collector. Current love messages. Give me some current love messages. Some current love messages for the collector. Well, Capricorn. Yeah. This person must be talking to a bunch of people because if they're lying about their finances and they're lying about who that how inf how unstable and unfaithful they are ain't no telling who they talking to they could be talking to the whole city for real for real current love messages for my capricorns mm -hmm. liar liar pants on motherfucking fire baby new love current love from capricorn mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. current love for my capricorns current love for my capricorns current love for my capricorns and be prepared if you're currently with this person for them to try to get you like lost in your own thoughts, lost in your head so that you don't make the decision to leave them. And if this person is somebody that you've already left, be prepared for this person to reach out to you and try to get you all in your head and basically fuck with your head. Because I don't know, I just got this feeling of just lostness and this person wants you to be lost in a sauce and just, just, just subjectable for their bullshit. Like... <laughs> Current love for my Capricorns. Current love for my Capricorns. Current love for my Capricorns. Yeah. If you're currently with this person, you know, this is somebody that's probably, you haven't been with probably long at all. If you are with this person that I'm talking about, this is somebody who is like very codependent on you and you may have become very codependent on them and how they make you feel. All the bullshit lies that they have told you, all the dreams that they have sold you, you are caught up. This person is honestly a breadcrumber and they don't really give you more than, you know, the basics. If you are with this person, this person is very, very damaged and they're unhealed. This is somebody who is very big in their ego and they don't feel like they have no reason to change. So you're not going to be the woman or the man to change this person. So don't think that you can come and put your cape on and save a bitch. Okay. Mm -hmm. because just because you all have passion doesn't mean that this person is supposed to be in your life for a long time this person has a lot of passion for a lot of things a passion for lying a passion a passion for cheating and a passion for being broke <laughs> all right let's get some new love and their player Ambulance on the way. They may end up giving you an STD if you're already with this person. And if you've already left this person, they're going to end up catching something that they're going to need to get a little ambulance treatment from. Because they like to fuck around. Mm. New love for Capricorn. New love for Capricorn. New love for my Capricorn singles. New love for my Capricorn singles. New love for my Capricorn singles. New love for Capricorn singles. For some of you all, I feel like you're just trying to be single right now. Summer is coming. You're not going to deal with no bullshit. And I don't blame you. New love for my Capricorn singles. Yeah, a lot of you all are just in your flirtatious mode. I'm going to say in your whole phase, but it's not like a bad thing. You're just keeping your options open. You're keeping your options open. You're not trusting so easily, and you're only putting your trust in people who show you that they're trustworthy, okay? And a lot of people from your past want to come back, but baby, you're moving forward, okay? You're looking for somebody who you can trust, somebody who you can call home, somebody who you can actually pour into, and that's going to actually last a long time and not end up in, you know, you all separating so fucking easily. Somebody who is not damaged, somebody who can come into your life and show you and prove to you that they're worth your damn time. And until you find that, oh, baby, you out of town, thugging with your rounds. Okay, you ain't playing with nobody, and I don't blame you. <clears throat> baby, the summer is coming. The sun and the buns is going to be out. You don't need to be holding on to somebody who ain't worth a bitch ass thing. Okay, okay. Let's get you some advice. Because you can do bad all by yourself. I'm just saying. Because this person, if you're currently with this person, this person thinks that you're going to always be forever stuck on them, hung up on them. This person is also a big cheater. They got, they have a, they, they got a passion for lying, a passion for cheating, and a passion for being broke. And a passion for keeping you in third parties because this person likes to have them by the dozen. 
But they don't never tell you that though, because they're a liar. <laughs> Give me some advice for my Capricorns. Give me some advice for my Capricorns. Give me some advice for my Capricorns. And if you're currently with this person and you are already, you know, you've already met their mom and their dad. Don't believe bitch. Don't even blump and their sister. Don't believe nothing that these people say about this person. This, this person's family is going to always ride for them. So even if they do know about them cheating on you, they're going to make it seem like, oh, no, they wouldn't do you like that. This is a good man. This is a good woman. They're going to have you in your head as well. When you know damn well you are worth more than what the fuck you're putting up with. When you know damn well that this person is using, playing, taking your kindness for weakness, playing right in your face, honestly leaving you feeling depressed and stressed. Meanwhile, they out, they out and about frolicking in everybody's face. This person ain't no good person. They're not, they not even a friend. They don't even have your best interest. This is somebody who also hangs around a lot of like egotistical, a lot of like cheating ass friends. They be going out, going out of town. They be going out on the weekends. This is somebody who you just, that don't sit at home. They can't sit at home to say they like, they want to run the streets with their friends and run the streets with they know with their hoes, basically. Somebody who don't like the fucking work for shit. That's always needed some fucking help. Somebody that you honestly need to get out your life if you haven't already because they're really a snake. And they may have a drunk, they may like to drink a lot. So if you don't, if you haven't left this person already, you need to hurry up because this person will leave you lost in the sauce. Due to how toxic they are. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. And the reason why they're so broke is because they're constantly giving to other options. So don't be hung up on this person. Don't be stuck on this charming devil who may be great in bed, but it's going to leave you stressed and depressed. Who is fucking around or behind your back and lying and being a rat in your face. Because like I said, this person got a passion for all the wrong things. Baby. All the wrong things. Mm -mm. When they need to have a passion to get their money and their life together. Because this person's egotistical, cold-hearted, selfish, and a loser. Let's be real about it. Let's get some tea. Give me some tea for the collect for my Capricorns. Give me some tea. And they're a liar. What I, what I keep saying, they're a liar. A liar, a cheater, and they broke. Give me some tea on this person. Give me some tea on this person. Give me some tea. Give me some tea on this person. Mm -mm. This person may make you weak because of how, you know, you all may have like a, a good sex life or you may like the way this person look. But this person is honestly a user. They're a user. They like how weak you may be or how submissive that you are. Because I'm going to say weak. It's just like you... You're dominant in your everyday life, but you're really submissive when it comes to, you know, your home life and when you're with your person. And this person is honestly taking advantage of that. Mm -hmm. This person needs to be seen for who they truly are. And if you already let this person, you already seen who they are and you decided to dip on out. <laughs> because this person, like I said, is a liar and they lie to everybody to make themselves look cool. They lie about their situation. They lie about their money. They lie about everything. They even lie about not even being in a relationship or even talking to somebody. This person is just a liar. They if, they if they riding around in a car or they act or they got a house, they may not even be theirs. They're lying about that too. They have no stability. So just know that any any decision that you decide to make when it comes to this person and the decisions that you are already made, if you already cut off this person, it was in your best interest and the most high is so proud of you. He's proud that you're not being a dummy. Don't be nobody's dummy. Okay? Okay? Let's get you some angel messages. Give me some angel messages for my Capricorns. Mm -mm. Give me some angel messages for my Capricorns. Capricorn. Give me some angel messages for my Capricorns. Some angel messages for my Capricorn. Well, we got good news. 
because good luck is on your side. So any decision that you choose to make, it will be in your best interest. And the most high gonna have your back either way it go. Okay? We got 1111. So make you a wish. Mm, by the power of two, I already know it's gonna come to you. So yeah. Also tap into your inner instincts and that wisdom of yours. You be knowing. You be knowing. So don't allow somebody to play in your fucking face. Because you be knowing. And if you don't, and if you allow somebody to play in your face, it's because you're allowing yourself to be the dummy. Okay? And that's not you. Continue to be positive. Continue to, you know, allow yourself the, the, the space to just have the clarity. Don't be so down on yourself every time. Just because you end up picking the wrong person or, or being getting in situations that don't benefit you don't mean that it's, you know, to harm you. Sometimes God allows us to go through things so that we can learn from these things, okay? And also appreciate the little things in life because once you appreciate the small, you always get more blessings. And those blessings are going to come into come in the form of opportunities, it could be love. It could be finances. It could just be a, a shift in your life. But just know that you got blessings coming. Either way it go. Let's get you a takeaway message. Give me a takeaway message for Capricorn. What is Capricorn to take away from this message? What is Capricorn to take away from this message? What is Capricorn to take away from this message? What is Capricorn to take away from this message? What does Capricorn need to take away from this message? Sometimes you need to take some, say some silent mantras. Be like, the one that I always say is, I'm going to be healthy, happy, and wealthy, baby. Healthy, happy, and wealthy. That's all I want out of life. And even if, you know, it don't come at a time that I want it to come, it's going to come in the future. Because I'm manifesting it. I'm keeping my eyes open for it. And I'm working towards it. That's what you need to do. Find you a mantra and just say it every day. Gear your brain to think this is going to be possible. And just strive for it. Okay? And have gratitude. Because you being so grateful for the things that you have been through and the things that you continue to go through and the gifts that you currently have is going to bless you and allow blessings to come in. Because one thing about Yahweh, he loves a grateful person. Because if you're grateful for the small things, just imagine how grateful you're going to be for the big things in his name. Okay? Anyway, Capricorn, this was your reading. I hope that you got everything that you need to know about this lion lousy loser okay and if you already cut this person off i'm proud of you because you're nobody's fucking dummy okay anyway i want to thank you all for the love and support you all do show me i want to thank you all for the donations that you all do send me i really do appreciate that it is the most helpful thing that y'all could honestly do for me also if you want to find me on social media or get your girl on the phone call for a personal reading Everything is already in my description, Buki. So go ahead and find it and hit your girl up. Bye, my loves. Take care of yourself and love yourself. Bye.